Hurricane Maria took out power to all of Puerto Rico. Transportation, communication, and water for 3.4 million residents were wiped out overnight, not to be restored for months. But this scenario isn't unique to an island nation. Power grids all over the planet suffer the same vulnerability, centralization. One station down means millions lose power. But the answer to this problem may lie in all places in cryptocurrency. Instead of being one behemoth homogenous thing that can rise or fall depending on a catastrophe, it can be a whole bunch of little connected islands that can be independent or connected depending on circumstances and conditions. That's Michael Guerra. What he's describing is the Brooklyn Microgrid Project, a small power grid made up of houses on President Street. It's using blockchain, the underlying technology of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, to decentralize and share electricity. The project began last year with software startup LO3 Energy. Residents like Michael, who own solar panels, produce and sell clean power to other houses on the street. Using blockchain software for the exchange means energy can be provided whenever and wherever it's needed. The power has been kind of one of the low-hanging fruits in terms of blockchain uh, application. And uh, the Brooklyn Project is just one of many around the world where you've got something that is homogenous. A kilowatt hour is a kilowatt hour. And it can be um, essentially transacted very efficiently on this peer-to-peer -peer, uh, network via blockchain technology. Blockchain acts as an automated accounting system. It tracks how much energy is available, how much it costs, where it is, and where it needs to go. And it really is no different than any of the other things that have gotten a lot of press from the shared economy. A lot of people have heard about Airbnb, making money renting a spare room, or driving for Uber or Lyft or one of the new rideshare programs. To be able to use those concepts for something as fundamental and important to day-to-day -day life as electricity is really exciting. And the microgrid project isn't alone. Grid Plus is also using blockchain to help make energy greener and cheaper. I love the idea of having these viable alternatives all over the place, and those can be totally decentralized and be sort of the, the routine way that people get their power. Blockchain's auto-accounting ability, combined with a market-driven shared economy, could soon disrupt pretty much every industry you can think of and create an Uber business model for practically anything. Now, imagine blockchain enabling you to sell your extra CPU, let's say overnight, to somebody else. This auto-accounting ability is what's turning heads in the business world. But for the Brooklyn microgrid, blockchain also brings an equally sought-after benefit, security. Hackers are attacking power grids across the planet. It was Ireland in August, the Ukraine before that, and hundreds of electric systems across the US, Turkey, and Switzerland over the last six years. These kinds of attacks pose a huge threat to national security, and they're increasingly difficult to protect against. But a decentralized grid keeps all the eggs out of one basket. And one built on blockchain cryptographically secures all energy exchanges. Another key goal for the microgrid, of course, is to make sure that in the event of a uh, power disruption from the utility that the community can support a critical infrastructure, whether it's hospitals or uh, gas stations or supermarkets. Th that's really important to me. That's a real advance for the microgrid is to allow the community to support itself. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.